the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Texas Rangers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies first pitch coming your way next Just about to get underway and towing the slab in this one. Zach Wheeler and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Little chopper rolls foul. Yo one. And that's outside. Not close with that one. And it's two and one. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. To the right side. And that one handled. Throws to first. And Simeon is out. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're it's in the box one. and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And the 1-0. Swing it a foul straight back. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball in the air, left field. March going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Adam Cole, the first baseman. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Low up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Marsh on the move. And that'll do it. Onto the bottom of the first. No score. Back here in Philadelphia. And today's starter, Cole Wynn. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Kyle Schwarber stands in now, looks at that one inside.
the 1-0. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Catcher has it, fires the first. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Sends it to first, and Real Muto is out. Okay, let's check out the lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Kyle Schwarber. Well, Boog, he's a guy to watch because he capitalizes on the big situations as well as anyone. Hitting over 350 with runners in scoring position. And you know what that means? That means he's a key player for this offense because he can really drive them in when the team needs him the most. He's been clutch all year. Bryce Harper at the plate now. That's ball one. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Phillies down in order. We played an inning. No score. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. New Rangers. inning getting started. Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Adolis Garcia. Garcia. The right-hander back to work. Smoked on the ground a second. Stott over to he first got. in time. One up, one down. That is good. The captain, number 28, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim will hit next. Heim having a lot more success on the road this season. Catches the zone. That's strike one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Ripped on a line. Rojas calls it in. And there's two away. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Ball on there. No score here in the second. Next oh, offering guy. upstairs. And that's a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Checks over to first, back safely. Yeah, the batter now, Ezekiel Duran. Oh, First offering, and it just misses. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. In there at the knees, and the count one, ball, one ball, and right. one. Two outs. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. Runner on the goal. That one 95 to finish him off. 
So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. at Citizens Bank go. Park. Bottom Bruins. half of inning number two. The Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a foul ball. Field two. That one missed. It's a good take. That one missing inside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. The 2 2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. <laughs> Pretty simple plan of attack on the mound right there, huh? Yeah, nothing but fastballs. They just kept putting down the number one and letting it fly. I liked it. Yeah, me too, and I'd love to hit against that. But, of course, when you're in the box, you think he's bound to change speeds on you at some point. You're just kind of locked up, sort of like reverse psychology. Bryson stop in the box with one away as he takes ball one. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. That one ripped right center field. Back there. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Around second now, going for three. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. He was all over that one. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Right through there for a strike. At the belt and fires. And there's a strike. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you'll get a little extra to the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. One ball, two Skips in, and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. Stop. Takes his lead at third with one away. Just misses there. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. One away with a runner at third. Got him looking. Huge strike out there. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You have the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. fouled off. On 
on the ground, right side. Sneaks through base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Just one of those seam high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a net. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is Sosa to the plate. The shortstop takes the ball. Kicks and deals. Swings over the top of that one. I got one ball, one strike. Two balls. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the catch. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith. Wheeler back to work. That's a strike. And it's all in one. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Here's Leody Tavares. Pitch is in for a strike. The one one. One. And the righty deals. And downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. With the go-ahead run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Right through there for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He's under it. Makes the grab. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. There's a strike. Good late movement on that sinker oh, right there. Count. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. Oh, and this inside. is inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. That's inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him looking. He can't believe it. 
Seeger stands in now. He's 0 for 1. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. And there's a ball. That ball misses. And that's ball three. Nathaniel Lowe in the on deck circle for Texas. And a pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Fly to left his first time. Flips the corner. Strike one. There it was, a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear down. Those last two pitches were well executed. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the end. And that's the third out. Rangers leave a pair, and it remains 1-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. And the right hater back to work. Ball one on a pitch inside. To the right side, sneaks through, base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Kyle Schwarber no, comes up to hit, hit here. This splits oh, yeah. between April and May there. Schwarber. Move to first. He's and he's head. back in safely. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And a pitch. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and that was not close. Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. On the ground to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. And now it is JT Real Muto grounded out to short in his first trip. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out.
Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Fired to second. Back to first, and that is a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. And now here is Harper. Grounded out his first time. In the dirt, nice job behind the plate. Two outs and a runner at third. Here in the last half of the third. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Left-hand batter waits. Right through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And a strike in there. Two outs with a runner at third. Not even close there. And the count's full. Alec Bohm to bat next. Left-hand hitter waits. So now two on and two outs. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now it's Alec Bohm. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That's in for a strike. Rojas, the runner at third. Harper on at first with two down. And that misses okay. off the outside edge. A 1-1. And fouled off. That misses. Two and two. Got him swinging. Phillies leave a couple, but they're on top, one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Adolis Garcia. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Going two now. One and ball, ball one. Two strikes. Three. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Next up for Texas, Jonah Heim. Right through there for a strike. Pitch misses there, and the count even one and one. Riding to the plate. And there's a hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Robbie Grossman. One for one with a single so far. Close, but called a ball. Ball on. And another ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And the right hander deals. And now two and one. And he deals. And a good eye there. Oh, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Ezekiel Duran waiting to hit for the Rangers. That's in there. And now it's three and two. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Outside, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Here's a pinch runner for Texas, Evan Carter. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Caught looking his first time up. That's a little bit low. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And that one missing low. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Good hitters count the 2-0. Swing and a miss. Two on, one out. Fought off foul. high and that's ball three Josh Smith in the on deck circle with the tying run at second go ahead run at first top half of inning number four. Still get the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. 
So first and second with two outs. Here's the third baseman, Josh Smith. Just oh. missed. Ground ball right side, and it's just foul. That was close. Two on, two outs. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. He's got it, and that is out number three. Rangers leave a pair. They still trail 1-0. So coming into the game now on defense, Evan Carter. He takes over and right. Number 32. This is Bryson Stock. One for one. He tripled in his first trip. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And now two and nothing. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat. Automatically, that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Late with the swing there. Two balls, two strikes. Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one finds the zone. 0-1. And it's fouled away. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Oh, keep the, the bat alive. Two. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Carter moving under it. Snags it for the second out. Now batting, left fielder. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. There's the strike. And that one fouled off. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. But they lead it one to nothing. Back here in Philadelphia. And now Leody Tavares. Wheeler back to work. That misses the zone. And it's one and oh. In the air to left center, Rojas has this one sized up. Makes it away for the out. The 
here is Marcus Simeon. Known for his late inning heroics. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That one in there across the letters. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And that's downstairs and outside. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. And it's gone. Home run. He circles the bases. It's 1-1. One, one. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments. And right there made a statement big time. this level you got to be good sometimes you got to be a little lucky that was a pretty nasty pitch sinker on the outside corner but he did a great job of covering it and he hit the ball out of the park so now it's Corey Seager and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes he usually doesn't work out for success but he can never predict baseball one run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the fifth. Way inside, gets out of the way. Chopped in the ground. Stott over to first in time, and Seeger is set down. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Up next for the Rangers, Nathaniel Lowe. Ball just missed. Ball. And that one is inside. Right through there for a strike. Outside corner, there's a strike. He goes down looking. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. All even now at 1-1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the inning. And now for the Phillies, Edmundo Sosa. Hawaiian in the pitch. That misses. Ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Number 38 appears to be getting loose. Haney, a left-hander, also throwing. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Low sizes this one up. Pulls it in, one away. Now that the center field. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. And he's already singled in this game. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now.
kicks and fires. All one there. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. And that's in the dirt. Two two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. So two down now, and here is Kyle Schwarber. One for two. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. No, oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is a tapped hitter. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. That one hammered center field way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. We played five full, tied at one aside. The DH, Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia. And here it comes. Just oh, missed. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. A 1 0. And that one fouled off. Man at second. And a strike on the outside edge. Sends it across the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The battle. The catcher. Jonah. Heim. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Ball one. First pitch misses. Yeah, that's outside. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out, is he going to get a pitch to hit? And a foul ball makes the count two and one. One out, the go ahead run is at second, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. This ball's chopped on the ground. Stop. In plenty of time to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bad, especially when you're playing extra innings. Evan Carter in the box now. Take strike one. That one not close, and it's one and one. Two outs. And a ground ball to first. And it gets by him. Runner from third into score. It's 2-1.
Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Two outs, runner on first. Ezekiel Duran, the next to hit. Runner on the move, pitch in for a strike. Go to second, ow! And that'll end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jose Leclerc. A chance at his first now, save of the year. Number 25. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. The pitch. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Now, Boo, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. So the tying run at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Yep, that ball went out. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. Now a move being made at second base. Pinch running for the Phils with Merrifield. Bryce Harper to the plate. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. And yeah, the first offering is not close. With the winning run at the plate. And here in extra innings. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. That's it for a strike. Go to third. Save. That center base right there was all about the jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. One down, Phillies down a run. In the air, center field, Tavares. Sizing this one up, drops into the glove. One attacks from third. He'll score on the sack fly. We are tied at two. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job driving that run from third. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Right through there for a strike. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. He got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in extra innings. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Tavares settles under it and makes the catch. And that is the inning. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning coming up. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Go ahead, run on base. Now the left fielder, Ezekiel Duran. Yeah. 
And a pitch. And the slider just misses. That one missed. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Here comes a pitch. That nope. just misses. And now 3-0. Would love to see him get the green light, even with the 3-0 count right here. Let's see if he can create some magic. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Bounce to the right side, Got and it. he handles it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. There's a strike. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. And now the runner breaks for the plate. It's a squeeze. Stop. Tosses the first. That's an out, but the go-ahead run comes across. Now it's going to be Leody Tavares. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Hey. And they're at the knees for a two down. Oh, Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rangers three and the Phillies two. Back here, Citizen Bank Park, bottom of the seventh. And digging in for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The right-hander back to work. That one missing inside. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their key. Right through there for a strike. And another ball. And there's a strike on the outside corner. In there. Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Castellanos 